Okay, so this is how you RDP anywhere. So click settings. Um, you're going to want to go to system. Then you want to scroll all the way down and to remote desktop. Click on remote desktop and make sure that this is on. It's grayed out because I'm not admin on this profile. I'm just showing you for the sake of showing how it works. So make sure that this is on. And um, also make sure that you're on a Windows Pro build. And also take note of the desktop port right there, as you can see there. Uh, by default, I actually changed the default. The default, I believe, is 3389. Uh, you don't have to change it. Just take good note of that. Then you want to go to the command prompt. Um, so just type CMD. And it'll open up your command prompt. And this is how you can find uh, the, uh, the IP the local IP of your device that you want to remote into. Um, so the command is IP space forward slash all, and then you will see the result of the, uh, the local IP of the, um, of the machine that you want to remote into. In my case, it's my desktop computer because uh, it's the most powerful machine I have. And you can see right there, IP4 address preferred, and you can see it's uh, ending in 0.23. So this is an example, um, but you don't have to do that. You can go to um, Orbi, login.net, or whatever your uh, Netgear or whatever router you have. And then you see that we are in the port forwarding option. I have an Orbi, so you want to go here. Uh, but any router you have, you want to go into the settings and see add custom service that I have circled here. Uh, you can see I already added a couple devices. Um, but add custom service is what you want to click on. Uh, whatever your router settings is, you want to do a little bit of research and find out what's the equivalent. You might want to pause this video because I'm going super fast. But you can see here, uh, you want to go to TCP. Uh, that's the protocol. External port range 3389 is the default, but I added other ports just because I played around with it. Um, but you don't have to do that. And you can see here, Kalen Desktop, it's listed, and it's going to have my local IP that I blacked out. I know I didn't need to do that, but then you want to hit Apply. Then you want to go on What's My IP. Uh, just Google or Bing it, and you'll see your public IP address because we are going to remote anywhere. Uh, we're bending the rules a bit. You want to go to your Windows search and search RDP. That will bring up Remote Desktop Connection. You'll see here in the computer... Uh, where it says computer, put your public IP, and then when you put that there, you want to enter your username of your Microsoft account. You need a Microsoft account uh, to, to connect to your Windows, and your Windows profile needs to have your Microsoft account connected for this to work. Uh, you want to do save and connect. It's going to prompt you for credentials. And now I'm going to show you um, just pretty much how this works and a video of this working outside the network. So, um, here we go. <laughs> so now you can see I'm using my iPhone hotspot, Kalen's iPhone. Uh, you want to go to RDP, just like so. And then I've just protected some of my information here. But it's my public IP, not my local IP, my public IP on there. It will ask you, prompt you for credentials, but I already saved it so it doesn't keep on prompting me. And you can see right now, I am connecting to my machine. And everything does work flawlessly as long as network connection is, is great. Um, you can see it's not so great on my home network right now. I'm a bit, uh, my Wi-Fi adapter is a bit choppy. But uh, you can see right here, Orbi 96. So this is my home network. And you can see it's different from my... Surface that I'm using to connect uh, Kalen's iPhone. So that's how you remote desktop anywhere in the world. Uh, just remember the main prerequisite is you need a pro Windows 11 or a pro Windows 10 build on your computer. But other than that, I know I went extremely quick uh, for that. Please rewatch this video a bunch more times. Uh, definitely take a look in the description. I'm definitely going to include plenty of documentation and stuff that I may have mixed, or some stuff that's probably better in writing. So please check out the description, and also in my description, I'm just going to also link another video I have of how to turn your computer anywhere in the world. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.